Hey guys, it's Holly here from hollygrace.ca and I just wanted to upload this video for you. It's a really quick Cricut tip and I think a lot of people struggle with this. So we know when we're doing cursive writing, we ungroup them and then we reattach them. But once we've welded them together, we can no longer see what the font is. And say, you know, if you're just working on this project right now, you may remember, but in the future, when you go to open up this project again and you want to add to it, like I wanted to add this here, but I cannot remember me for the life of me what this font is. And I have over 300 fonts on my computer. So rather than sit there and struggle, there's a quick and easy way after you've welded cursive letters together to figure out the font. So when we click on these ones over here, they're not welded. So when, next to the text, it says the text is Friday. So we can see that. When we click on this, it says the text is Adina script. But when we go down here to the GG, it just says weld result and we've lost what text that is. Well, I'm gonna show you very easily how you can figure that out. All you have to do is over here on the right side panel menu where it says weld result, right click and hover over image info. And just like that, we can see here the script font is B smart script. So again, you guys right click on the weld result image info and the selected font is B smart script. So now I know what font that is. So you can apply this to any fonts that you weld together. If you forget, just again, right click image info B smart script. So now that I know this is BSmart script, I can just easily click on this font that I wanted to add here. Go up to my font selection in my system font, search BSmart, there it is. Add it. And then again, we can continue on with making it look the way we want by ungrouping, moving all the letters, and then um, putting them in place where they go, and then we're just gonna attach and weld. So I'm just gonna finish moving these over here quickly, and then we're gonna select them all, attach, weld, and then you can see from the beginning there, we're back at the same problem where the weld result doesn't show the font anymore, but again, just to show you, it'll always be here down in the image info. So I really hope that this video helps some of you guys out. If you know any Cricut users that struggle with this or just any Cricut users in general, make sure you share this video with them. Share it in some Cricut Facebook groups to help other people out. And as well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.